the company offers a ton of upgrades from the iPad based rotating infotainment system what? to what? the so they... The company is based out of Laguna and Laguna. proudly states that around. I have a new dream. The company says they have the ability to build around 10 to 20 cars per year. And while it may not be as polished or well So if you buy. Cars if you And today with a bump video, I'd said a bump video. Aurelio, the first Filipino supercar ever made. What means supercar? Supercar, very fast speed, supercar. Oh, okay, all right Let's then. Guys, if cars you do today. hear Akosi Vanessa. Akosi Fernando, and that's the channel that spread happiness reactions all around the world. Maligayan Pakta Ding. And yes. if you guys would like to recommend a video to us so to react easy. on, there are two things you gotta Super do. Simple. Either subscribe right, right now, leave now. a comment down below, and or follow us on the <laughs> socials, Happiness Crossing. Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Oh yeah. No one recommend this video. Video, okay, but we got inspired by what's up Philippines shout out Mike and Nelly Woo! And let's dive straight into this video Isa Dalawa Dalawa Maximula not a yo Yeah And let's check it out Aurelio the Philippines first supercar Oh, I have to put the a new contender up. for the best affordable exotic has emerged. Oh my and it's this god. It's the Factor Aurelio supercar from Whoa. the Philippines. With gorgeous extra styling, a range of highly tunable powertrains, and a low price that'll That's knock amazing. your socks off, that it doesn't be a better buy than other cheap exotics. That's on pretty affordable for a supercar. It's, it's really expensive. 30,000 30, yeah, yeah, dollars. 30, man. You can buy a property with my, that. My, yeah, okay, but if you think about it, my mom bought like a Ford. It was really expensive in Europe, but it's a supercar in the but Philippines. She should have got the Aurelio. Hmm? She should have got the Aurelio. Aurelio, yeah, Aurelio. yeah, yeah. But I'm just thinking. Instead of Fiat 500. On the market. Or is it just another shoddy plastic replica? That is amazing. In today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the model as well as the fact that him. Company. Huh? Is that him that is talking into the video? I thought it was a recording and someone was like. Just imitating. Ah, his no. Voice. No, I think it's him. It's so I don't cool. know. But that's Behind crazy, it, right? To learn a little more about this new and unique supercar. Oh, wow, he's a V6, man. I would the like to do a test drive. had humble beginnings. Work on the concept car began as early as 2008 and took oh, five wow. years of intense development to prepare for its debut Whoa. in 2013. It's the brainchild of 21-year-old engineering student Kevin Factor, who worked on the car alongside his brother Brian and friend Brendan Aurelio. The company is based out of Laguna and Laguna. proudly states that around. I have a new dream. I wanna own. Move an to the Aurelio. Philippines and buy an Aurelio. Man, this I car is beautiful. It looks very elegant and kind of like dangerous. I wanna, you know, I wanna like own dangerous an kind Aurelio. Of. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Totally understand. Can I have one? I'm not your sugar mama, don't look um, at please, me. Mama. Work for uh, it. Please, mama, let's Earn work there. Money. Are we gonna be the first foreigners to buy a, <laughs> a supercar? I don't know. I would prefer to buy a, a land, I think. Yeah, because for this money, you can buy a land. Yeah, but the Aurelio is a very good car. 80% of the true. car's components are sourced locally from the Philippines. Oh, wow, that's Today, so Today, cool. the production team has nice. grown to over a dozen, and the handmade supercar is nearly ready for it's production. Handmade. Nice. The Factor Aurelio is assembled onto a custom tubular space frame that's ultra stiff, rigid, and ready to handle high top speeds. It uses a combination of custom handmade parts as well as suspension Man, it's components a beautiful taken from car. a Mitsubishi beautiful. VR4. And it don't you tire. think that it looks a little bit dangerous? With it the eyes, amazing. like with the it front, you know, like it's very elegant it's like but dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. Aggressive. Wow, Evil. It's, it's cool, it's cool. It's down on the road. 
Power is supplied by a Honda well V16A Respect. engine taken oh, from a fifth-gen Honda Civic. It's, it's been turbocharged Japanese. with 10 pounds of boost to produce a little over 500 horsepower. Okay, and while that may not sound really too impressive compared to today's exotic standards of thousands of horsepower, it should be plenty to power the lightweight Aurelio, which is said to weigh a little over 1,200 pounds oh, wow. before the body is so installed. Light. Rumor has it the Aurelio will also be offered with a Mitsubishi 4G63T inline four-cylinder engine, mm. tuned to have a oh, similar so it's output Mitsubishi. to the Honda motor. But again, being a oh, custom-built exotic I product, didn't understand if you have two options, Honda or Mitsubishi. To be honest, I guys, don't I don't know much about cars. No, that's what he's saying. <laughs> so, yeah. Small I don't know much about engines There's also a stuff. lot of potential and room for one-off powertrains. Footage online shows a V6 powered Aurelio called the 350S running and driving, as well as a V8 model that's currently under construction. This wow. car will be the epitome of Man, Aurelio it looks performance. Beautiful. And it's powered by Corvette. A no way! Corvette. Oh supercharged motor. Okay, I, I don't okay. know much about cars, but I, I know that Corvette is like, wow! I will know Aurelio right now. It's uh, a fact. My uncle owns, owns a car company in Germany and he always talks about Corvette. So I know that this is like a good thing. I grew up as a child, like, oh, Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. Like, it's like, oh my God. it's like very good. I want, I, I want that. Aurelio. Like, with over 750 Jeez. horsepower, plus a sequentially paddle shifted transmission for lightning oh, look inside. and Looks acceleration. Looks like a Amazing. spaceship. When completed, it should be one of the most powerful cars ever produced by a brand based in the Philippines. And it's been given a number of custom upgrades over the entry level models as well. I want an Aurelio. While performance for this new V8 model is still unknown, Aurelio says the Honda powered model should be able to reach a top speed of 290 kilometers per hour, or roughly 180 so miles Honda. per hour, as well as accelerate so lightning fast as to complete the quarter mile in less than 10 seconds. There are also a ton of videos floating around online that demonstrate this car's not only fantastic exhaust note from the variety of powertrains offered, but also showing Florida. off some pretty cool rear-wheel drive <laughs> right? mid-engine yeah. donuts. And he's making a video about the like a Whoa. Filipino car. Listen. My father would that freak out. Freaking cool. My father would freak. Oh, I want Aurelio! Aurelio! <laughs> Would call it Lelo. Lelo. As impressive Lelo. as the performance Aurelio, of the Aurelio Lelo. is, the exterior of the car is even more exciting to look at. It appears to be going fast even at a standstill, which is exactly what most exotic customers want. You're going to catch everyone's eye out on the road with this thing. Oh, it yeah. has a completely unique design, drawn. Which by color we should get? Okay, oh, white. White. Or black. Wow. Black. Black, or? black is the dangerous one, like the. Yeah, black is like you evil. Know. <laughs> evil. <Yeah. laughs> A yellow or black, yellow or white? No, I black. Would say. Two hours later. So yeah, we are we are not very clean people. No. So let's so get black, black then. <laughs> black it is. No, actually, guys, like I'm I'm not planning to buy and crafted um, handmade a sports car anytime soon. I think. Oh. Maybe already. Soon, guys. Yeah. Soon, soon, yes, soon, soon. Yes, maybe. But, I don't know. We have to know. save up a lot of money. Fiberglass reinforced plastic body panels. Unlike many other custom cars in the industry, the Aurelio isn't a simple replica or ripoff of a more popular brand. Although it does integrate design elements that are similar to both Ferrari and Lamborghini, Whoa. giving it that traditional Italian flair. It's given 18-inch so aluminum rims from you local know? Philippine brand Rota this, Wheels, man. as well as some- Wait, I need to stop and analyze this. That's like Lamborghini doors, and it's it looks like a Lamborghini and a Ferrari mixed together. Like yeah, but on the blender, other hand, that's I believe out. it must be very hard to create and design a car that doesn't look like something, maybe a tiny bit of something that existed before, because there are so, 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 so many millions of but sports you, cars that already exist. Can you believe that this is handmade in the Philippines? It's handmade. <laughs> 
No, no. It's like a group, it's a small group of people yeah. that produce It's not the just made by, by a machine hand. and stuff. Like, you know, like you know. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Cadillac or Corvette, they all have factories that, uh, that factories, manufacture yeah. everything with artificial intelligence, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. they know what they are doing already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is by hand, that is like art, you know, mm. like that's classic cool. art. Very nice. Beautiful. Very cool. Some stylish scissor doors Orange is pretty and cool custom color. taillights. Oh wow, look back. at that purple. Oh. There are purple, a few areas I like that. that. Looks a bit rough, Cost especially on the attention. concept car. But in general, I'm a big fan of the design shown here. Oh. It has some look of the lions. aggressive God. vents built into the rear fender, which are contrasted by the smooth <laughs> body lines wrapping around the side. I particularly like the razor thin accent lighting up front and the center mounted exhaust in the back. It really oh. does a great job of making this car unique and stand out. Amazing, the side oh my god. shows off some pretty sleek proportions, cool. but I think the car looks best without the optional aero wing in back. To the uninitiated out there, the car enthusiasts who haven't heard of this model, it could easily be mistaken for a million dollar exotic. Yeah, Despite it does. a price tag of about the same as a new Toyota Camry. The interior design of the Aurelio is equally fascinating with a simple yet polished and exotic design. Build quality is always a major concern when taking a look at the interior of a car that is so customized and from such a small, pretty new brand that doesn't have a ton of experience fitting the right panels and things on the inside of a car. But it appears the interior of this Philippine supercar is pretty well built with its flat It is amazing, come on, they built it by hand. Look, carbon Look inside, fiber yeah. everywhere, it's amazing. This and carbon fiber accent pieces. See? The company offers a ton of upgrades from the iPad based rotating infotainment system what? to the, so F1 the, inside style the car? steering integrated yeah. digital gauge system. The materials and tech can be picked out to match the customer's taste. Look, the steering the wheel, man. It's not a wheel, it's, it's the square or something. Quack. Seven long years after the car's initial debut, Aurelio Concepts is still hard at work, refining the model lineup and building up the brand. It's always difficult to find up-to-date information on such niche manufacturers, but it appears they are very close to taking orders on the car and beginning production. The company says they have the ability to build around 10 to 20 cars per year. And while it may not be as polished or well- So if you buy, if you year, buy an Aurelio, you, you have something like, it, like something like, how do you say, like additional? No, like special? Special, like, like, like um, uh, how would you say that? Um, me! <laughs> how do no. you say that? How do I you know, say I know that? what you're talking wait, about. Wait, I have to translate from German. <laughs> I don't know. One hour later. Privilege. Privilege. Two hours later. Something particular? Particular. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Well, you have something that yes. not everyone can have, exactly. okay? So you can buy uh, a Mercedes. Uh, Everybody will have. Yeah, but everyone has it, you know? And you, I think that's something so cool. Buying something that just has more more worth as well, yeah, exactly. you know, because people work it's on it by hand. It's it has, it has It has worth in it. So You know that you're driving a car that is made by a team of people yeah. and it doesn't have influence yeah. of a machine. Yeah. It's incredible. I want one. <laughs> That's my goal. I'm not joking. I will buy Aurelio one day. Oh my God. <laughs> Built as traditional Italian exotics, the low price and exclusivity could make up for that to some buyers. Once again, the exact details remain fuzzy and are subject to change. But from my research, it appears the Aurelio is going to have a price tag of just 1.6 million Philippine pesos, which does sound like quite a lot at first. But once you convert it over to USD, it comes out to just a little over 33,000 US dollars. Okay, we need to save a lot a of money over, still. It's a lot of money, <laughs> but, but for is a, a lot. car, for a car like that, you know, it's not that much money. So saying that yeah. it's worth a lot, but um, you know, I think that they must be booked out for years and years because they said they are selling like 20 to 30 cars a year. year. Uh, think about how much work and how much time they spend into, oh my God. Um, you know, the production and everything that like is incredible, that. Incredible. So probably they're like booked out for like five years or something <laughs> like that. Wow, that's so cool. That's incredible. nice. 
considering how exotic this car looks and the decent performance it brings. The car will likely be sold exclusively in the Philippines at first, which is just to avoid complications of legalizing, shipping, and registering the cars no, internationally. Please, I want to drive this car. If the car. company earns enough success, who knows? I, need I to think drive there this are car. plenty of enthusiasts here in the States who would love to get their hands on such a good looking Go to the wheels. Philippines! And look the wheels. Ah. What do you think of the Factor Aurelio? Is it the I Super think it's amazing. I love it. Or just another Ferrari wannabe? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And also, if. I wow. think, uh, I think uh, the, the YouTuber here that I'm uploaded uh, the video, which his name is Quick Shift Cars. I think he's very, very, um, like he has a lot of knowledge yeah, about exactly. cars and I really don't have. <laughs> I don't. I like cars. I, I love cars. I but, love sports cars. But it looks amazing and as I understood, this is a very uh, affordable price for a car just like that. And I think that's great. It's I think it's amazing. amazing. And I'm so, so, so proud of the it. Philippines, seriously. Wow. It's so cool. Well, I'm so excited. I, I wish one day I will be able to buy our radio one day. That's how our life okay. works, guys. We manifest, okay. we go forward, and we achieve. Yes. So that's my new goal right now. Even okay. if it's not the same goal as yours, okay. I will have an Aurelio in the next five years or so. But now let's dive straight into the fan of the day, shall we? And, and the fan, fan of, of the day, day is Ira Mai Corpus Mata. Yay! <laughs> I'm from Pangasinan. Please notice me in your next videos or vlog. I want to see the both of you in personal. Shout out on your next vlog. Ah, ah thank you. Hopefully so. Madam we can see you quickly yes, back in the future. We would love to meet up with like every single one of you guys, seriously. And we just cannot wait <laughs> to, to go, go back, back to, to the, the Philippines. Philippines as soon as we are allowed to. So, guys, thank you. So much, Mara Misa Lavapo, for your support. And if you Ooh, and like today's video, <laughs> please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to us, and we can yes. spread more happiness and positive energy all around the world. And we we'll see you guys in the next one. Mahalo Min Kayon and Mabu Freaking High, everybody. Mwah. 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 Like we're only talking, talking